Look, look, look here, folks. We're going to have a real talk session today about when the world will end. And I have come to a conclusion and read every book I popped could read. I read the Revelations. I read every chapter of the Bible. And I come to a conclusion that this world would most likely end by far. Just take it for example when God destroyed the world with water. And the reason he destroyed the world with water because they had people down here. Giants taking over the world. People committing adultery. Men snatching each other butt crumbs all up in a big old orgy. You know what I'm saying? And just a lot that was going on back in them times. And the most high man, he was up in heaven, you know, man, just shaking his head like, man, <clears throat> ah, yeah, you know what, <sighs> Noah, go get the animals, go get uh, three deers, uh, three cattle, um, three lions and three soups, and uh, a lot of sheep and wolves, got them up on a boat, get your family, take them on a the boat, because I'm going to flood this whole thing out. And that's exactly what the Most High did. You know, Noah was on his ship, man, kicking it. While everybody else was getting drowned, you know what I'm saying? They all screaming. They, I guess they were trying to get on that boat. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what's funny, bro? What's, what puzzled me, though? <laughs> I'm not trying to be blasphemous. Nah, I'm not blasphemous. I'm just saying. But what's funny to me is, why they need people pay attention when Noah was building this big old ship, bro? That's what's funny to me. Because me as black man, I pay attention to things. Even when I see somebody running out of nowhere, I'm going to be running too. Now, if y'all see this guy building this big old ship, and y'all didn't even ask him why he was building the ship. <laughs> that is funny, bro. Like, if I seen Noah back in the day building that ship, man, I would have walked up to him and be like, yo, gee. What you building that for, like? What you getting prepared for, like? This is a big old ship, like this more look like a mansion. <laughs> and shoot, right out the building, shit, they they boarded it, and God said, "Let that be water." And phew, rain for forty days and forty nights, man. I mean, flooded the whole earth out. I mean, walked this mug, boy. He walked it, flooded. The giants and all, man. Back in them days, bro, you know, you read the Old Testament, man. God didn't have no pity on people, man. Man, the, the punishments were real. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, the most high destroyed the whole world with, with water. Because of the evil doors and the evil that was going on. God was so angry that he created people. He couldn't believe he created them type of people. He was like, man, I created these people. These are some evil MFers. For real. And that's what happened, bro. And Noah got on that ship, man. Got up out of there. And when you think about it, what happened then and now, they always say water far, far water. So the earth is probably going to end. And I'm going to be real. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been ready. You know what I'm saying? The sun might supernova and just fall down, slap on your face, man. Ain't nothing you can do about it. And that's what I'm thinking. By reading Revelation and reading the Bible and reading every book I possibly can find, I come to the conclusion that the sun is going to supernova. It's going to send a big old flame down through. It's going to fall right on top of us, bro. Like a building. It's going to fall like the Great White China, the Great Wall of China, man. Just, the sun just going just gonna to fall dead on our face, man. You know, ain't nowhere to run and where to hide. You feel me? And they said the the, the rich folks, that's why they uh they trying to find a way off this earth. You know what I'm saying? They might have a whole nother planet. They might have to, might might be ready to board to when this thing comes to an end. But like I said, you can't hide and you can't run for the most high. So one day... That sun is going to explode. 
And when he explodes, the most high sent a shot way through it, and that mother just. For real, man. I don't even care, bro. I'm ready for the most high to destroy everything. It don't even matter to me no more. It's already enough evil going on in this place anyway. Like, I'm ready. If it come to it, if it come to it, it is what it is. As long as you know you right with the most high. If you right with him up there, you ain't got nothing to be worried about. You shouldn't even be scared. But if you're scared, they say go to church. The church gonna really save you. So the church gonna come in there and get your money, collect your sins, your money. Tell you, hit the dough, take your money and go spend it on something else. What the tithes are for in the church? Is that gonna save me? And they say, oh, the tithe going to the look the, the most high. So when judgment day come, when this thing rupture, when the whole earth just turn upside down, it, it's over. It is what it is. And I feel like the most high is very angry with this place because a lot of people have turned their back. It's more sin than ever. People selling their souls. Committing adultery, snatching butt crumbs all day, eating quaaludes, smoking bath salts, mojo, all kind of stuff, man, going on in this world, bro. It's just ridiculous and sick at the same time. But look, if this world ended today, what would you do? Would you get on your knees and pray or you would run? Let me know in the comment box. I'm out.